What's up guys? It's your boy Luke from Luke's Garage Gym for you guys a brand new video. In today's video, I'm gonna do a review of this three in one ultimate rack from Vesta Fitness. Could this be a right fit for you guys in your home gym? Let's see and find out. Hope you guys enjoy. All right, guys, we get started in the review of this piece from Vesta Fitness. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to push this video across the world, baby. My name is Luke from Luke's Garage Gym. I do home gym reviews, tips and tricks, show that you out there can get jacked in your home gym, baby. So today, I'm excited to review their three-in-one from Vesta Fitness. You guys did not know, I've done a review of their two-in-one piece where they have their functional trainer with their half rack. This is their three-in-one rack where you have a half rack, you have a functional trainer, and a Smith machine all in one piece. So to start off, you can tell this is definitely a commercial grade piece of equipment. I've done a lot of reviews of budget uh, Smith machines. I've done multiple reviews on those. And in the future, I'd like to do a, a just like a comparison of budget versus commercial grade piece because this is a monster of a piece of equipment. And just taking a closer look at it before we get some specs, you can tell, first of all, let me know in the comments, this clear coat is sick. They have other colors too that you can pick from. Um, I did red for my other one, my two and one for this one, I'm like clear coat because when I went to Home Gym Con and saw this, I'm like, man, this is freaking sweet. Uh, just some other key things to know with this two guys, and we'll dive more into it later with the Smith machine, but is to keep in mind when you get this Smith machine guys, there's two options. You can either get the counterbalance one, which comes in the front of the stacks, or you can get the one that goes in the rear loaded, which goes behind the stacks. I decided to get the one behind the stacks because I just, I don't know, I usually like the stacks in the front of the rack because that's where I do a lot of my cable work. I don't really like the Smith machine here. I like it more on the backside, which I have plenty of room with that. And some other key features too, if you're looking for specific heights, they do have two different heights. I opted for 86 inches because I did the 94. I thought it was like 93.5 and it was literally digging into my ceilings and your boy did not really feel like getting a drywall knife and cutting into this again. So I was like, all right, we're going to stick to the 86 inch height. We'll dive into more if that could be the right fit for you guys. So first of all, what I do is take a closer look and get some numbers and specs of this piece from Vesta Fitness. So Taking a closer look at this, guys, some dimensions of this is this is an upright constructed uh, a 3x3 three three frame with 11 gauge steel, and the numbering is laser cut with one inch holes. The exterior rack dimensions of this is 52 inches wide, 52 inches deep, and then this is 86 inches in height. Again, you can get a 94 inch height rack depending on your preference. The inner rack dimensions of this is 93 inches wide by 92 inches deep. And the cross member, which I took off, but you could in incorporate if you had the Smith machine in the front, the cross member would be 42.24 inches wide. Overall, if we come back, there are 33 height settings with this rack, ranging from your different you know, ways you want to use your cables, or also too, if you're gonna be utilizing the front of the rack, you have numerous options to fit your different body types for your different power lifts, your different main movements on the front of this rack. So talking about the functional trainer part, and then we'll dive into accessories with this rack and give you my pros and cons. So this comes with a 200 pound stack on each side, whereas my two to one only has a 160 pound stack, but they have the option to be able to upgrade that. So I really like the fact that, first of all, this is a two to one ratio. So if I were to put this pin right here at 200 pounds and just pull this side, it's only hundred pounds. But if I were to put 200 down here on this side and pull both these handles, then you're getting the weight there actually is. So if you're wondering how you can extend this, cause I know a lot of people are always like, ah, hey, okay, two to one ratio, this sucks. I can't do this and that. They have come up with a piece so I'll show a clip. It is their pin, their extender pin, which can have over 200 pounds added to it. 
So you can get well above the weight you need for any of your movements. So I would suggest getting that if you're going to get this rack, you're looking to do heavier, you know, like rows, especially lap pull downs. Okay, 100 pounds is probably not going to be enough for a lap pull down for anybody. So I would suggest getting that and it's very affordable. And again, in regards to just, you know, the adjustments, you got your pop pin, just like the two to one, you got your knurling here for some, some bouginess. And two, they have done a great job of making this commercial grade, you know, with just looking at the pulleys here, the pulley wheels itself are aluminum. Aluminum makes things just a lot smoother. And when you're doing your main, you know, cable lifts, whatever you're using with the stacks. And also these cables are just, they can take up a lot of tension. They are, again, commercial grade cables. So if you're looking to really get that extender pin and stack this thing up over 300 pounds, you're not gonna have any issues with these, uh, these cables here fraying, you're gonna be just fine. So if you're looking to get just this all in one system, guys, you're looking at spending over $4,000 with what is just here. This is not the other things I'm, that you could get that's included, I'm gonna talk about later. If you wanna get just this system, again, 94 inches, 86 inches, with the Smith machine either in the front, that's counterbalanced, or on the back side, you're already gonna be spending a lot of money. But this is where I feel like a lot of people need to think. I've done a lot of budget videos, and I think those racks are fine for, I would say, beginners people just starting out and they're not really sure if the home gym is right for them. But if you're a serious lifter, you've been working on the commercial gym for a long time. You're looking to get something to add to your gym that has, it's robust, it's durable, it's gonna take a lot of weight. This is something that would make more sense. It's a lot of money, of course, you know, I, I, I hate to say this, but you know, credit cards do have payment plans. There are payment plans they have through, I think they have a firm. But again, some people are just not comfortable spending this kind of money and that's fine. And if you're watching this video and you're like, this is too much money for me, there are, again, I have other budget videos I have, which I think are fine too. But if you're someone who is honestly an advanced lifter, you know, you're serious about working out from home, this is something you would probably look more into compared to the budget all in one racks. All right, so talking about this Smith machine. So I will say some things first. This Smith machine has numerous pegs you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve 10, 11, 12 pegs on each side to where you can adjust it. You can use it to wherever you're doing. You know, if you're gonna go a little bit higher to do a squat, you're gonna go halfway down here in the middle, pull your bench up and do a bench press or go even lower if you wanna do, you know, a row or you wanna do just maybe Romanian deadlift or maybe you wanna do a rack pull, whatever you're wanting to do. There's a lot of adjustments here, and then obviously you have here is the ability to use your safety spotters that can take up a lot of weight. I think this bar can hold up to, I think it's up to 700 pounds, which is plenty, you know, for honestly anybody. And this bar does weigh 45 pounds. The counterbalance is different. That's a different scenario where it can be zero up to 45 pounds. But this is a very, we clamp this off, it's very smooth, easy to latch on. You know, I, I feel safe. I feel like, first of all, the spotters, if I'm dropping this with a lot of weight, I feel like it's not gonna break on me because the materials are high quality and durable. So talking accessories of this rack, so if you buy the rack without buying anything separate, again, you get your J-hooks. These things are high quality. These things are literally beastly. They're thick, they're well-made. Same with their spotter arms here. It's pretty cool. They got, you know, they got numbers here too with holes if you wanted to. Honestly, I have no idea what you could use. Maybe you could use it. I sometimes put a pin in here and then I put some attachments sometimes in storage if I'm not using these. But also too, you get is this, this pull-up bar which has numerous grips with knurling on it, which is honestly really nice. It's made of high quality steel too. And then obviously you get, you know, the stack, you get the Smith machine all in this system for that price over $4,000. If you're like, this is not enough, I want more, you could also get these accessories. The first accessory that I think is something you should invest in is their lap pull-down seat so that 
yeah, you could just pull up a bench and you could get a band and strap yourself down maybe to save money because you know, the price this is a few hundred bucks, but it is a high quality piece. You know, it's got 11 gauge seal. It hooks into the one inch hole upright. You know, it's got pretty thick padding for your whole leg holder part and your seat. And we're going to talk later. I'm going to do some demonstrations to talk about just range of motion, how everything feels with the cables and the Smith bar. But it's a high quality piece. And if you're already spending that kind of money, I think it would be a wise investment to get something like this to add to your system. Another accessory that is optional, but a lot of people do like doing dips, is you can get their dip attachment. So I'll plug the price here. The handles are beefy, so it's definitely a forearm workout. There's knurling on the handle too, so it's this thing is well made, high quality steel. So obviously, if you're trying, you know, to really make some gains on dips, this goes right into the side with one inch holes. It's sturdy, high quality knurling. It's just an idea, an option to have if you're looking for something like this to add to your rack. So a lot of people are always worried about range of motion when they're doing things with this here, where I said, I think this is something that you should purchase unless again, you know, you want to spend the extra couple hundred bucks, you can pull a bench up, get a seat belt or something like that to hold you down. But if you decide to go this route here with the 86 inches in height, I just want to demonstrate and show you guys the range of motion. So I got this thing at the very top. So again, these handles come with the rack. It's going to show you a quick movement with it. So I'm just going to put on, just going to put like 40 pounds on. And then this is at the lowest setting it can go. If I go one more setting down, it's going to be hitting this bolt down here. So at the lowest setting at 86 inches, again, I am six foot. So you have an idea of what the range of motion is like just doing this. So if I were just to do a one arm lat pull down, you can already see I'm already grabbing this at the very top with the handle and my elbow is already bowed. So range of motion is not going to be what you want it just vertically up and down. The only way you really can get that full range of motion is if you lean back to get that, which is at the end of the world. No. And un unfortunately, people who are taller, people whose ceiling heights are not exactly where they wanted to when they bought their house. Maybe they weren't thinking about getting a home gym. Now they really want the one, really want one. They can't afford to get a new house with taller ceilings. They have to deal with something like this. So there are solutions. You could just not get this at all and just sit on the floor and do the movement, which isn't the end of the world. Or you just have to lean back. But people who are a lot shorter, probably even like 5'10 or shorter, should not have as much of a worry with that range of motion. But if you're a taller person, that is something to keep in mind if you are getting a height system like this. All right, I just want to demonstrate utilizing the Smith machine and just give you my thoughts on it. Let me give you all my thoughts on this rack after this clip. But again, you have the option here. Two options of where you want to put this. Again, I opt to put it in the rear and the back. Um, numerous adjustments. So my bench is pretty far back, but I got enough room behind my the wall so I can ably, I can safely, you know, come back here and do bench. So just taking it off. You can already feel it's smooth. This barbell has got solid knurling. Just doing two, three reps and just racking this. It is buttery smooth. You know, you can do is grease this up too to even make it more smooth. This barbell is 80 inches wide, holds your two inch plates. It's got solid, I would say almost probably like a medium knurl they put on this barbell, but you got your your little creases here to line up your hands to. Honestly, very impressed. You know, when I saw this at Home Gym Con too, when I used it, I was like, you know, my, my guy, I think it was Daniel, even and just said it's buttery smooth. It really is utilizing it in my gym. All right, so after all those things I went over, let me know in the comments what you guys think of this rack. And my thoughts are this. If you, first of all, if you have the money, you have the space, and you're looking for something that is commercial grade, three by three, 11 gauge steel with one inch holes. Because again, one inch holes are universal with rack attachments. This is something that I think you should look into. Not saying you should buy it, but it's something that would fit into what you're looking for. If you have the ceiling height, 
I would probably prefer and recommend you to get the, the taller ceiling, uh, taller, you know what I'm saying, the taller rack so that you have a better range of motion when you got your lat pull downs. If you're, if you're going to buy this seat or you're going to do the bench, which is, it is a little bit of a pain in the butt having to lean back. It is, I guess, a con is if your ceilings are low, you're getting a lower rack. If you're a taller guy, you're going to have range of motion issues with the cable stack. Pull up bar too, like you can tell I'm pretty tall. So my arms are already bowed. So you're going to have to kind of lift your legs up a little bit. But again, it's not the end of the world. You can still get a really, really good workout with this. And just to keep in mind too, the assembly actually was really simple. Just use these giant bolts all around this, um, especially if I already put one together. It was pretty simple and easy to do. Kudos to them. Um, making it as easy as possible, in my opinion. Some people probably think it's it's difficult, but I guess mine's skewed because I've already put one together, so it was easy the second time for myself. Um, their attachments are really nice. The dip bar is solid. Um, again, the only another con can be it's just expensive. It's very expensive. It's a lot of money, but again, investing in health. If you have you know a career that you're blessed with that you have the money to provide for. You know, for your home gym, this is something to look at for your guys' gym. Appreciate you guys checking out this video with this Vesta Fitness 3-in-1 piece. I got a comparison video with the more budget Smith machine coming soon with this. And a lot more content with this because this is a centerpiece of Luke's Garage. Thanks for checking it out. Let me know in the comments and make sure you guys hit that like button. Support your boy. We'll see you guys soon. This is Luke from Luke's Garage Gym. See you guys later.